and we can consider the reverse as well. This is the second function, this is the personal problem here because in our derivative form we don't need to be that careful. We will have to be careful in integral, the first and second function which we take. So here what this will be equal that d over or let me directly write this thing here. So what it will be? The derivative of the first function, first function here, first function into derivative of the second function. So it will be minus 2b x minus 2b x e to the power minus b x squared and plus second function into derivative of the first. So the derivative of first become 1 and it will be minus b x squared. So I got for this one minus 2b x squared e to the power minus b x squared and plus e to the power minus b x squared. So I got this thing. So here I can now write minus 2 we will come again. So this will become 2 into 2b. Let me write it in this form that minus 2b this will be 2b and minus minus become plus so I get 2b h bar square over 2m a mod square and then this one from minus infinity to plus and e to the power e to the power minus b x square. If I take this one common, then what remains? Because for d over d x, I will have to put this thing. So I have written this one, and then e this one I will write is e minus b x square. And here is minus b x square and minus 2b x square plus e to the power minus b x square means it is this term and the x. And now I will have to write this thing. This is equal to if I look here toward this one, if this is multiplied with this, then it will become minus 2b x square. Here is x square. Here this will also become minus 2b x square. So again, this is any one function because when we change the sign of x, then here it is square, it is exponential, so it doesn't matter. It is square, so it will also be the same. It means that I can apply the even function that this is equal to 2 times of 0 to infinity. So I can write that this is 2 times 2b h bar square over 2m a mod square and this is from 0 to infinity because it is not 2 times here and let me multiply this one then what it will become it will become minus 2b x square and e to the power minus 2b x square because when this is multiplied with this one, this is multiplied with this. So it will become e to the power minus 2bx square and minus 2bx square will be multiplied with this plus e to the power minus 2b 
x squared and then this whole is dx and this thing is equal to 1 but I will write it here. Now I will have to solve this integral following the same formula here that now here we have this minus 2b I can move out and I am having to so this will come out is minus it will come out because it will be with this integral so I will have not to take this one out because it is here as well so it will be 4b and h bar square over 2m a mod square and then we have two integrals here the first integral we have from 0 to infinity and it is minus 2b here and x square e to the power minus 2bx square dx and plus integral from 0 to infinity e to the power minus 2b x square and dx. Now here toward this integral let me see here this we have already calculated e to the power minus 2bx square we have already calculated that here n is 0 and a is 1 over 2b and its solution comes out to be pi 2b over pi. So I have this 4b h by this and I can write here the solution for this integral the solution for this integral came out to be because 2 I have taken earlier 0 to infinity and then this is pi over 2b so is that one we have taken earlier 2 outside and 0 to infinity in this so this will come out is the value of this one was pi over 2b so it will be pi over 2b and square root but it is from minus infinity to plus infinity pi over 2b so it will be 1 over 2 times this one because 2 we have already taken is common here in 0 to infinity while this one what this will become for this integral if I look here then n is equal to 1 here while a here is the same a is 1 over 2d square root so what the integral will come out to be the integral will come out to be equal to pi so this integral will come out to be this integral will come out to be pi square root and then 2n so 2 factorial n is 1 so it will come out to be 2 and then this is a over 2 a is 1 over 2b a is 1 over 2d square root and this is 2 power n plus 1 so 2 in n is 1 so this comes out to be 3 and divide by 2 power is 3 as well 2 power is 3 as well so we have this thing equal to this is 1 over 2b and power 3 over uh, 3 here now this is simplifying so we have a simplification of this one this is 8 
and two with this it will become one over four here. So I can write that the final integral will become equal to four b and then h bar square over two m. And what about a mod square? A mod square is equal a is equal to b over pi and one over four, so it will become a mod square one over two. So two b over pi, two b over pi, and square root is one over two. And here, what these will become? This will come out to be minus two b. Minus two b is here. Then it will be two and eight. It will come out to be one over four. And further, this is what this will become. If I do write it in one over two b and one over two b square, so I can write one over two b this. Means this one is one over two b cube. If I write this one over two b into one over two b square, then one over two b will come in. One over two b will be this one, and one over two b will be n square root. And then I can write. I can combine this pi it with this one. So let me write pi here. I can combine this with this one, and then plus. What about this one? This is half and pi over two b. I will have to do an additional step here. So what happened here? There is some cancellation. The two b is gone with two b, and I have this. I will combine this. I will combine a pi over two b, and this one is one over four, and this one is one over two. So I can write that this equation then becomes four b, and here two b over pi. When this is multiplied inside, this two b over pi when multiplied inside, then this one is gone. Two b over pi with two b over pi and two b over pi. So I have more simplification here, and I can write. So this is equal. To four b h bar square over two m, and what remains here minus one over four and plus one over two. Minus one over four plus one over two, and this makes means what it will be. Four. Then this is minus one plus two, so plus one over four, and four four are cancelled. So we have the final value here is the average t is coming out to be four four are gone. So we have d h bar square over M. So we have found the average value of t, and similarly, we will find the average value of v as well. So let's start the with average value of v. The average value of v is comparatively easier. So, but I will have to means there is no space. So 
I will have to erase some of the things here and then I will let me write let me erase this one and then we will start with the average value of V.